the boot of Cedar Race. So, George, you and the witch ready to win your first big one? We're going to clean up the hole, buddy. All set, Kia? Just as soon as R2 and 3PO secure the witch for light speed. 3PO, how's it going out there? Quite well, Mr. Chair, if I do say so myself. We'll soon have the coupling fixed. <laughs> takeover of every other gang in the galaxy. And now, all I have is this floating scrap heap. Hey, they're slowing down. Huh? Hmm. Floating scrap heap, eh? Watch this. Oh! Now see what you've got to start out to. <laughs> No. Oh. All right. Huh? Where in the galaxy could they... You let them get away again, Tiggy. Well, what did you expect from a scrap heap like this? After them! We'll be lucky if we're not stranded here. Don't worry. The hyperdrive is fine. Prepare for light speed. No! George, are you okay? Oh, I'm all right. What about the droids? 3PO? R2, 3PO, are you okay? It was a close call, but as always, I kept my head on straight. <laughs> Go on to what now? Oh no! Prepare the land! Oh! Landing gears out! Raise yourself! Oh! Would you kindly help me down? Oh. Me? I'm Burger One. One of a kind, is how I like to put it. Your creator must have been one of a kind as well. I created me. They jumped me after a century of loyal mechanical service, so I repaired myself. <laughs> Oh, pleased to meet you, R2-D2. Is there a medical unit nearby? Oh, you're lucky. There's one just over the hill, right by the track. Ooh, nice speedy you got there. Bit banged up, but she'll go. Can't say the same to your ship. But I could fix that. I'm sure Mistress Kerr would like a second opinion. Not Trundo, I may be old, but I can run circles around your circuits any day of the millennium. Can you fix it? Just said I could. Deal. We'll be back after the race. Good enough. Nice meeting you, R2-D2. I advise you to choose your friends more carefully, R2. We droids are often judged by the company we keep. Ooh, 
used to be the number one gangster in the galaxy. Now look at me. All because of those young speeder racers and their friends. I want you to make them pay. I will do as you ask, size from. Who's he talking to? I should mention I'm not getting along with some of the other gang leaders. Jarrah the Hutt has a reward out for you. Oh, you, you can't tell him I'm here. Have no fear, Sai Fram. I owe you a favor. I shall do as you ask. Good. Use any means you want. Just bring those meddlers to me. No one escapes me. I have someone on the job. Just remember. Boba Fett. After this, we are settled, Sai Fram. After this, I owe you nothing. Why are we getting mixed up with that bounty hunter? Uh, they don't come much worse than him. I almost feel sorry for those two speeder racers. Two good arms. <laughs> Looks like you're in the driver's seat, little buddy. Oh, there'll be other races, George. Not like this one. Every speeder big shot in the system's here. Hey, you're both out of the race if we don't find a place to patch up the witch. <laughs> don't be ridiculous, R2. He suggests we employ the help of that walking scrap heap, Proto One. Hey, not a bad idea. But, sir, I have already found someone who can help us. Well, actually, he found me. You'll find a full complement of tools, Master Paul. Everything you should need. This is too good to be true. How long can we use it, BL-17? Oh, as long as you need it. My master is elsewhere taking care of some business. Talk about luck. Too bad George has to spend the night in the medical unit. Yeah, he would have had fun in here with all these tools. Good work, 3 bl You're fortunate to have such a devoted droid in your service. I'm just trying to do my best. Don't you see, Blix? We have to beat Boba Fett to the punch. We have to prove to my father that we can take care of those two. What do you mean, we, reptile? You have to help me, Blix. What's in it for me? A new wardrobe. You can even call me... Tiggy. You're on, Tiggy. Don't be too angry with him, R2. Tripio's just happy to find someone that shares his other interests. <laughs> Mistress Kier, it turns out that BL-17 and I graduated from the same production facility. What do you mean, where have I been? Since when have you become my master? If you really must know, BL-17 and I have been comparing notes on our travels. It is a pleasure to associate with a droid of comparable intellect. For a change... Perhaps the R2 unit would uh, care to join in our conversations. R2 is a good worker, but alas, he's not one for stimulating conversation. I'll go over to the park keeper and see if Master Paul needs some assistance. Hurry back. I'd like to help. Oh, splendid. I'm glad I'm not the only droid capable of assisting our master. I'll be along in a moment. Yeah, what happened? 
happened? Oh, gas. Leech in the welding tank. I'm all right, thanks to R2. Oh, good work, pal. Come on, Kia. We'll get some oxygen tablets for the medical unit. R2, keep an eye on the witch while we're gone, okay? R2-T2, what have you done to the shop? Leaking gas. What do you mean the lift has destroyed the door? No excuses. You were the one using the welding tanks. You were careless. Well, you can't leave the witch unprotected like this. I know a place where we can store it. I suggest we take it there immediately. Excellent. I don't know what I'd do without you, BL-17. As for you, Artem C2, so far your presence has been completely detrimental to our master's plans. I suggest that you leave before you destroy anything else. <laughs> Going to keep up with a spear in this vein. Just watch me. Hang on. But don't wrinkle the suit. R2, what is it? He must be picking up a signal from 3PO. Let's go. The White Witch will be safe in this processing plant. Excellent, BL-17. Well, what have we here? If it isn't BL-17, then there is form of synthetic life to ever crawl across the planet. Why, there's no need to be insulting. I thought you were deactivated ages ago, old-timer. But I see you've saved that privilege for me. Really, now, BL-17, I don't care for this rustic any more than you. But I really don't think... Put a slap on it, Chrome Dome! I've been waiting for this moment. But, but, but I don't understand. Run for it! What have I done? By your own your heart and friends, you may see my signal. It will lead your master into my master's trap. Too bad it won't be around to see it. But oh, what a fool I've been. To trust a stranger over R2, my real friend. Goodbye, R2. I'm sorry. Oh, no, you don't. Hi-ya! Try to harm my friend, will you? Oh! Master. R2, can you forgive me? Master Saul! The witch must be around here somewhere. It's a trap! But we've got to find the witch and get out of here. This ought to do it. This thermal detonator will help them finish the race with a real bang. Ten laps and then... Who <laughs> needs <laughs> Boba Fett? Oh, the witch! Down here! R2, start her up! All you have to draw him off. Sit tight, you'll be okay. Right. 3PO, take cover! You gotta stop him! I'm trying to the thermal detonator on his speeder! Thermal detonator? He's gonna go off in 10 laps! 10 laps? You've gotta stop Paul before he finishes the race! Look, Admiral Screed. Everyone's here except the Emperor himself. Ah. This is real nice of you to let us share your private viewing box. Where is Saul Joven? I want to see his speeder blown into a million pieces. Come on, Paul. Where are you? Go back! We're 
Corporation? So, you've heard of me. I want you two to work for me, design and build it. Um, when can we start? <laughs> Tomorrow? Tomorrow, then. <laughs> Why, it sounds like a dream come true, Master Thor. The Zebulon Dax Speeder Corporation. Well, we couldn't have done it without your help, you and R2. As Arthur puts it so well, it is our honor and privilege to serve. Uh, all the same, thanks. A master never has to thank his droids, but we do appreciate your appreciation. Going somewhere? I should have guessed the Fromm family was behind this. You guys never know when to quit. <laughs> We must be on our way. Now, don't be in this my house. Take care of yourself. <laughs> Goodbye, old man. Drop around any time. Old Frodo will always be here. <laughs> Artu, what are you doing? Leave the intercom alone. Sure, Zebulon won't let R2 and 3PO go along. Impossible. It's company policy. It'd have to be reprogrammed. I'm afraid they'd no longer be R2 and 3PO. Then forget Zebulon Dak. Okay, it's settled. We don't take the job. You couldn't find two better friends in the galaxy. Prepare for light speed. Artu, where are you going? Of course. You're absolutely right. Going to light speed now! I don't like leaving like this, but it seems to be the only way. Yes, if 
we had stayed, they wouldn't have taken the job with Debian on deck. Now they're free. Yes, it was a sacrifice after all. But that's what friends are for. We may be surrounded by nothingness, but we do have something. <laughs>